Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a huge crafty haul. There's a lot of goodies that I want to show you. I've been picking up here and there for a while now. Um, and also I have another video coming up on my ink swatching for the stamp market ink pads. Uh, that took me so long to uh, finish, but I am so happy that uh, it's finally finished and ready to upload. So stay tuned for that. So let me start by showing you... Uh, these goodies that just came in. So I just got these. These are the new Distress Spritz Colors. Uh, these are by Tim Holtz and uh, he added these to his uh, line of products and I can't wait to use these on my projects. So I was uh, able to pick up this uh, Spellbinders Platinum Scout in the color pink. Uh, this is an exclusive color to scrapbook.com and also has this pretty mauve color as well. Uh, they do have other colors available out there uh, in case you guys are interested. I believe it's a purple and also a white. Uh, but I picked uh, mine up from scrapbook.com. You guys know I love my pink so had to have this. I hope it works um, as well as my other machines. So uh, it came with the manual and also the cutting plates and embossing uh, plates as well. Embossing folders are very limited for this size machines but I'm not really concerned about that. I just want it for some quick die cutting um, and also I do like it because the plates are longer so you can fit a lot more dies on here. So I was able to pick up some molds from Stamperia. I really like uh, these right here. They do have, uh, I believe these go to a new collection that just came out but I really like the bottles up here and then also some of the uh, molds on this set right here are pretty neat. I think they will uh, go well with some of the Halloween projects. Okay, So from the greetery I was able to pick up uh, these uh, dies and stamps. Uh, this is a new collection called Garden Party. I couldn't resist. I really love their products and this collection is so cute. So this is what I picked up. Uh, this is the die right here. Look how cute that is. And it comes with a coordinating uh, stencil as well. You guys should uh, check out their website. They have really cute projects uh, made with these. Okay. This one is the cup of tea dies. How cute. And then you get these really small sentiment stamps that you can add to your tea bag right there so cute and also it comes with the uh, coordinating stencil as well okay as you can see how cute is that and then this one is the fine china uh, die and you get a mask I believe they said uh, this was a mask to use and this is the uh, stamp right here how cute is that so pretty it has these really cute roses that you can stamp very nice and then they have this um, stamp right here it has very cute uh, sentiments on there okay this one right here is the um, die that goes to um, the set right here this is the coordinating die I'm sorry to the stamp set uh, this one does come separate um, I don't know why they did that they should have included the die with this um, set right here uh, so this is the coordinated die to just um, the bouquet right here, okay? And then they have this one, Tipsy Strip. Uh, they have a really cute project on their website using this die. Really cute. I picked up this die right here. It doesn't go to the collection, but um, I decided to pick up because uh, they had a project where they used this... Um, mason jar not a mason jar tumbler i think they call it and uh, they put uh, some strawberry uh, uh, die cuts inside the little jar and i thought it was really cute so uh, they do this is to the same collection garden party but this is the trendy tumbler and this is the coordinating stamp and this one is the die for the lemon uh, lemon wedges and then they do have these straws, silly straws. I thought that was really neat. Okay, so that is from the greetery. Here's another collection from the greetery. Uh, I bought this a while back. 
and they send me this really pretty cloth as a thank you gift and look how pretty that is so pretty so I'll be keeping that in my craft room um, I did pick up this collection they had as well I can't remember the name of the collection but that was really neat um, this one is the uh, stamp and coordinating die I think you can see we can't see it very well but you can see like uh, an image on there what it makes it says scoop not cool and then they have the um, die to this ice cream cone and this is the strings streamers I'm sorry and also the party hat and uh, this is the award-winning ribbon uh, die and this one is their birthday elements uh, die here's the stamp set you guys need to check out their um, projects that they have for this uh, release it's so cool okay this is the uh, honeycomb sentiments die this is the honeycomb balloon and the honeycomb basics so you use this die and these stamps for these um, party mix uh, honeycomb balls I believe they call them look how pretty the colors are but the examples on these are so cool I've purchased two of these just to have an extra uh, these are the streamers the stamps streamer stamps I'm sorry and then here's the party hat stencil for that uh, die and here are the stamps for the um, for the award ribbon I believe or you can use these for the balloons as well you guys have to see the uh, examples that they have for this release this is really really neat I think you guys will like it so from paper tray ink I was able to pick up these uh, summer stamps and dies uh, these are very neat look how cold it I think this uh, stamp and die set will go well with uh, any summer collection that you guys have so those are the uh, the stamps and then this one is called frozen delights and these are the stamps right here okay there's the images and these are the coordinating dies Okay. that one super neat so from Spellbinders I was able to uh, pick up these uh, two dies and also an embossing folder uh, these are from their club kits um, I did have to subscribe uh, to the kits in order for me to purchase these uh, but I did uh, unsubscribe right after. I just uh, I was really interested in these uh, particular ones. So this is the first one. I love this one. This one is the pins and needles jar. It's a great size. Love what uh, it comes with. Not sure if they have some of these available to purchase individually now. Sometimes they do that. Sometimes they just keep it on the kits. Uh, this one's the second one. This one is the um, Better Press uh, plates and also the die. That was really neat. And this is the embossing folder. This one is the one stitch at a time embossing folder. Very neat. Okay, so that's from Spellbinders. From Iron Orchid Designs, I was able to pick up some goodies. Uh, this one right here is uh, called Conservatory Labels Mold. And I really like the detail on these labels. It's so pretty. Every time they come out with a release, I'm always, uh, there's always one or two molds that I have to have. And also, I did pick up some stamps. And these are the smaller uh, the smaller stamps that they have. Uh, usually their stamps uh, are this size they're a 12 by they come in a 12 by 12 sheet uh, but um, they have these this time around and these are labels as well the other one. 
and then they do have the alphas so you can uh, fill in so very neat this is the 12 by 12 uh, stamp sheet that they have and uh, like I said these are mostly for furniture uh, stamping but I figure I can use some of these images for uh, my projects I really love the uh, florals on this design this one is in a smaller size which I really like I can probably use that one and then maybe I can get away with using that one and the corners of these larger ones these are a good size as well I like those and then they have these as well in this set and then they also have the um, reusable mask uh, to use. These are from uh, Creative Expressions and this one is called Sewing. They're very neat. This one is Industrial Sewing. This one right here is called French Fabric Tags. And this one is the Dressmaker. I love this one. That's really neat. This uh, set right here is from Honeybee Stamps. And these are some suitcases. It shows you how to put them together. And this is what the die looks like. Uh, here's this die right here. Not cute. That was very cute. Uh, this one right here. How cute is that? That's what the die looks like. This one is the stencil. I hope you guys can see that. They also have the Ticket to Write stamp as well. Look how cool these are. I really like this. And then they have the coordinating die. And here is another embossing folder. That was pretty neat. So this is their uh, Time to Go postcards. And these are um, actual size postcard dies, which I thought was very neat. They also have this release. Uh, this one is the Party Blower uh, die and stencil. Here's that die. And these are the examples. Look how cute that is. And they did have the stencil as well. And then this one right here is the uh, Cupcakes and More. These are some of the examples and how to put it together. Here's the die right here. You do get a lot of dyes, so uh, I think it's well worth the uh, the money for that one. This one is the Herb uh, Garden. Here's the die. This one is the uh, 3D 3D Rosette. It's pretty neat. And this one is the April Showers die. You do get a lot of dyes in this one. And then this one is the party hat uh, die, and there is a coordinating stencil as well. This one is the um, rabbit, and you do get layers on here as well. Very neat. I believe this one was a freebie. And then I did pick up two embossing folders. And here's the other one. These are very pretty. Okay, that's from Honeybee Stamps. This next collection is by Rosie Studio, and uh, this is called Primavera. I picked this up a while back. I'm not sure if they still have this in stock, but uh, I fell in love with the uh, elements in this collection. Uh, the papers are very pretty. It has gold foil, and uh, this is... Um, it's not very heavy weight paper, but... Uh, I love the designs on here. Wait till you see the ephemera. So pretty. So I'm guessing you get two of each. Very pretty. Okay, 
think I saw some swans in here. Yeah, there they are. Very pretty. Okay. And I did pick up three of them. I didn't get the 12 by 12 papers. Uh, maybe I should um, uh, check to see if they have them. So here is the ephemera. The ephemera is very pretty. I love the pinks on this collection. They're very soft. Um, very pretty. You get a lot of pieces in this collection. Look how pretty that is. And I think a lot of these uh, ephemera pieces will go well with uh, our Maggie Home papers. Look at all those florals. So pretty. So you get 164 pieces on this ephemera. I did pick up four packs just to have um, uh, extras. They're, it's just so pretty. And look at these. These are very pretty as well. These are like acetate. Um, butterflies very pretty did pick up two of those I only picked up one of these uh, the puffy stickers very pretty and then here are more puffies puffies are very pretty too okay. and then some chipboard pieces And uh, some enamel hearts. Fell in love with this. Uh, it's just very pretty. I love the colors on that. And this is the washi tape. The washi tape is so pretty, you guys. This uh, second collection is uh, from Mentopia, and this is called Main Street. And I picked up a couple of ephemera, a couple of packages of ephemera. How cute that is. Very pretty. And they have some stamps. How cute that is. So pretty. And I did uh, pick these up from... Um, Ruth Lopez Studio. As you guys know, I am in her design team. And here are the, I'm going to show you the puffies and the paper. And then I'll get to the uh, dies. These puffies are so pretty and you get so much on this um, package. I got two of those, and then I got the basic puffies. And here is the paper. And then let me show you the dies. Dies are very, uh, very cute. Is that first one? Is this one? How cute is this? And this one is my favorite. This is a huge die. How cute is that? And then there's this one. Okay. Uh, and then I have another um, uh, collection right here. But let me show you these dies. Um, here is the Tiny Flowers 3D die, and this is by Quim Diaz. And again, I grabbed these from uh, Ruth Lopez Studio. I will link her uh, store down below. 
I grabbed these a while back, so I'm not sure if she still has these available. But you can always uh, ask. How cute is that? I love that. Is this one? Very cute. And then I did grab one of the embossing folders. Um, this one is just flowers. I don't think you can see the uh, detail on the embossing folder. And then this paper collection she had a while back. Uh, this one is the Special Day by Mintopia. And um, very fun and bright uh, collection. I think I shared this on my Instagram a while back. I just uh, didn't share it on my haul videos. But um, here are the puffies. How cute are these? And there's some other collections that are coming out. Um, I think it's by Sammy Gara, but I can't remember. Um, very cute and bright collections as well. And then uh, they had some dies and stamps for this collection. And uh, look how cute this is. Love this one. And we have this one as well. And then the stamp set. How cute is that? So cute. This next collection is by Simple Stories, and this one is the um, Crafty Things. Yes, Crafty Things collection. Uh, I love the colors on this collection; so pretty. I did grab uh, a couple of things. Uh, these are the thickers. Look how pretty these are. Or foam? I think they're called foam. Yeah, foam stickers. How pretty the colors! I just love, love the colors on this collection. And uh, here is the sticker book. I don't think I opened this. But you get a whole bunch of stickers. Very cute. Uh, here are the journal bits. And this one is the uh, frames. bottle caps patches and bits that's what they're called um, another pack of the journal bits bits and pieces I love the size of this ephemera it's not too big and it's not too small either So cute. Uh, this one is the big uh, journal bits, I think. Not sure. Look how cute that is. And then these letters uh, are called alphabets. Get all those uh, alphas on there. So pretty. Uh, these are the floral pieces. They have that gold foil. And these are the uh, decorative frets. How cute that is. And um, I think these are just repeats. This one's pretty too. And then I did pick up some of the paper, 6x8 paper pad, and it is double sided. And I did pick up, oh, they do have chipboard. 
love that you put on this collection. It's very pretty. Okay. How cute is that? So pretty. And I think these are the rub -ons. And then I did grab some single sheets. I think I grabbed five of each. Um, it's that one. It's the back side. And they're uh, the perfect size for crafting. They're not too big and they're not too small either. They're just the perfect size. So I did grab a couple of those. And uh, let's see. There's the back side. And then I grab this pattern as well. What a pretty collection. I really, really like this. Love the colors, like I said, on this collection. Very pretty. All right, you guys. So that's it from my haul video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.